<laughs> hey YouTube, it's Lindsay. My TV was on. Sorry, I figured I'd turn that off so we can have a little bit of us time. Um, yeah, it's been a while, and I kind of got bored, so I figured I'd say hey. I was just kind of getting ready for work. Um, as you can see, dyed my hair hot pink. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, hot pink makeup, pinup girl. Oh, and my birthday present. I got a Misfit shirt. I was kind of really excited about that. I know it. Um, I actually just started listening to the Misfits and my boyfriend got me the shirt and I kind of tore it up so it's all, I don't know if you can see it, but it's all ripped down the back. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know, just kind of figured I'd come in and show you my new do, you know, and just be like, whatever. Um, there's a Mr. Dan, and you know who you are if you, you know, watch this video. Um... I just wanted to give you a shout out and say hey. I remembered. I know it took me a minute to make a new video, but I kind of got around to it, and it just kind of takes forever. What with work and school. Um. Okay. So what am I doing lately? I am actually doing school at GIA, which is the Gemological Institute of America, and I'm trying to become a jeweler, like um, a professional jeweler sort of thing. Not just kind of like throwing shit together in my house. Speaking of jewelry, I know I am completely, completely like machine gunning you. Check it out. I made a bracelet. I'm not quite done with it, but I kind of just liked it with a simple thing. And then check out my acorn. <laughs> I know it's dumb. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know where it went, but I have some really cool art somewhere. That I just got. I was gonna show you guys, but I guess I can't now since it's missing. Huh? I wonder what happened to it. So it's just sitting on my desk. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of got bored and I just figured I'd say, hey, I'll make another video tomorrow, maybe, maybe, if y'all are good. Um, and, um, uh, you know, put some questions down below, let me know what you want to hear about. Um, however, I just thought about what I did come on here to say. I was watching the news today, yeah, and, um, I was watching that whole deal with Fred Phelps and basically blackmailing the American people or at least the media to let him be on the air while a, to, to not protest a nine-year-old girl's funeral um wow uh all I can say is I hope they had a lot of malfunctions and um they may be preaching about how everybody's going to hell but Jesus Christ Cinderella if I'm talking to any other mythical being I'm just kidding um Please let me go to hell if that's not where he's going to be. Because anybody who's that vicious and that that disrespectful of other people and different belief paths and stuff like that has has no right to any sort of paradise that they believe in. It it really hurts me that people are that awful. I know I've come across this gentleman. I've done a report on him before and it's just disgusting. It really is. And the funny thing is, is he was a civil rights attorney. I mean, he defended, you know, all these people. And yet he can turn around and use all of that knowledge and all of those things that he did for maybe good and, you know, do something that's so horrible to people as this. And, you know, I guess to think that somebody can do that and to not have any heart about it or not care about these people family I mean whether you're gay straight a child Catholic I don't care what you are I think you deserve a funeral and granted I understand that to outlaw somebody protesting funerals you know against free speech but you shouldn't have people have enough common sense not to do stupid shit I'm I just want to leave y'all saying America and the people of the world Common sense has to come back in style, because this whole not having any is not working for me, I'm just saying. Um, guys, brightest blessings, you know, and keep everybody that you can in, you know, your heart. And keep in mind with all those people in Arizona, it's a hard time, and we're going to get through it, and we're going to be stronger for it. I love you guys. Bye.